Hi everybody. So on the surface, Roam Research doesn't seem to be a very powerful task management system. But here's the thing. If you already spend a lot of time doing note taking and other things inside Roam, then starting with task management can be very beneficial. Because if you find a really nice setup, then you don't need to do a lot of context switching to other tools and can do it all inside Roam Research. And what you will see is that Roam Research allows you to do some really cool stuff with tasks. So today I want to show you my system, which I call the magic list. And I've been using this for the last uh, four to five months. And my motivation here is to show you my setup. And I think in its core, it's very simple. It's not really complex. It's very accessible and easy to create for yourself. Yet, I think it's very flexible and robust. So at the moment, you can see here on the right, I have uh, close to 700 tasks in my Rome database that all went to this system. And uh, yeah, I think it works quite well. So it's really my daily dr driver. And I also want to show you today in a real life case how I'm going to uh, or how I'm using this system. So let's take a look how it works. So the whole idea is that you start every day with, which, uh, with what I call a magic list. And a magic list is basically a list of to-dos that first make the day successful. So if you finish up the day and you've completed the list, you know that the day was a productive day. And secondly, the tasks on the list are achievable with the time and mood you have at hand. So kind of the two combine together to form this magic list. And yeah, again, the rule is if you're able to check off most of the tasks or all of them, uh, you can really call it a productive day. And the benefit of this approach is that you only need to think about prioritization once per day. Mostly I do this in the morning. So in the morning kind of I think, okay, what do I want to do? How do I prioritize this? this. But then for the rest of the day, I really focus on that list and have only one concern and that is to check off the list and try to be as productive as I can to yeah, finish up all the tasks. And I think this gives you a sense of freedom because you don't really need to think about what you do uh, uh, or what you uh, want to do. It's more like uh, just checking off a list. Now, how does the setup look like? Again, it's quite simple. You have four queries in to do that I will show you in a second. Then you have three texts uh, that you use today, upcoming later. And then kind of I go through a couple of steps every day that I will also show you now. But let's put this here first onto the side and then go into my daily page. So you see today I haven't done my uh, magic list preparation yet, but we will take a look at yesterday. So to go into the steps. So the first step is what I call collect. And in that step, uh, what I do is I go through all my inboxes. So for example, my mails, my Slack, uh, some of the messages. And then I try to collect all the tasks that I have to do today or tomorrow. It doesn't even matter. Kind of, I want to collect all the tasks that are coming up for me. And uh, occasionally I also go into my calendar and chats because sometimes you see things coming up there which you need to prepare but I write all of those tasks down. And you see that I have done this yesterday at 8.50. Uh, and I always name this plan and prioritize. So I uh, put all the tasks inside here, for example, work on the facilitation article, uh, finish the canvas, prepare the call. So these are kind of example tasks and real life case uh, from, from yesterday. And you see here that I shortened the names uh, to, to spare some privacy. And the st second step then is if you collected all the tasks that you prioritize. And I do this with, uh, with three texts, today, upcoming and later. And then what I do when I'm kind of in my day is I open up my to-do page on the side here. And here you see the queries. So you see the today one. That's kind of my magic list because these are the tasks that I have open all the time and which I want to check off throughout the day. And you can see here, for example, uh, that I have uh, from August uh, 31 uh, to delegate something from September 12 to follow up with something. Then here yesterday to prepare something and to Today, a task stop the recording of your screencast so we want to do this later um, then I have a query for upcoming this is uh, bigger has 30 results those are all things that I want to do in the next days 
and later are things that I mostly want to do in the next week or maybe even in the next months. So these are kind of the three important queries and you can see here a little bit how they look like. I will also link them somewhere in the description of this video. And then what's also really important is that you have recently assigned. Those are basically all tasks from everywhere in your Roam database which don't have uh, any text associated to it. So this is also something to go through in the morning to look at, okay, what did I wrote down yesterday which uh, I can or which I need to prioritize still. So these are kind of the four queries. Now and the last step really is to execute. So I always leave this open. I have this today here and then I go kind of through my day and I also want to show you this. So I started at nine then and I'm always pulling out the to do's as block references. And the benefit of this is, let me quickly uncheck this, is that you uh, see here that uh, you see the reference of this task uh, inside um, inside the task because it was referenced as a block reference. And I think this is really cool because then you can also work on one task multiple times and you always see kind of what you have done or when you have worked on that task. And yeah, then I go through my day. Here are two more tasks that I did. And um, for example, at um, later in the day, uh, I had a call with someone and then I did a summary of that call and then in that call I wrote down tasks that I need to do based on what we talked about in that call. And most of the time what I do is I don't sort it so it's like more like here with a uh, it's like without prioritization and then the benefit of that is that this will then pop up for my next day inside here you, so you can see here um, da, there there it is ask for workshop testimonial um, but I think yesterday what I did is I did the prioritization right away because uh, I already knew um, what I wanted uh, or when do I need to do this because I needed to do them yesterday um, and yeah, then this is a call and uh, can I show you something else? Um, ah, yes, here. So what I often also do is I pull those tasks over and then I'm often use, using the space under the task to make notes about things that I need to complete the task. So here I made some thoughts about kind of an order of exercises and I put this below here. So at a later stage I can always check this task again and see what I have worked on there. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So this is how I use it throughout my day. And the last thing that I need to do now is you can see here I wrote down the task. We do the time now. The time is 8 40 roughly then I go to my today and I pull this over as a block reference because this is a task that I want to do now because I want to stop the recording of the screencast but before that if you have any questions then uh, feel free to write me and if you have any suggestions how this can be uh, improved then please also uh, come to me thanks